Yes, see the National Chairman of our dear Labour Party, Comrade Akohi, Barrister by profession, obedient by tribe. It's a pleasure to let you know that we have over 250 million Nigerians who depend on us on what to do. Out of 250 million Nigerians, the electoral voters, more than 100 million as it were, and you, me, are really favored to be among those that will drive things to us all rock. Today, it's my pleasure before we start, already you know the people on the high table because we'll be meeting every day, but protocol demands that we'll introduce them. It's my pleasure therefore, having introduced the chairman, who is the father of us all, I tell you sincerely, we may have to start by having the opening prayers. And shall we have a Muslim brother to please give us opening prayers before we start? and a Christian brother also to pray for us and in case he may is here. Uh, please, you don't overrule me, sir. Sorry, a prayer is going on here already. I'm through too. Uh, but, okay. And what I'm saying is that somebody has been appointed. Please let's do corrections, please. We are here to correct Nigeria. Heavenly Father, we are obedient to the of God. We praise your name, glorify you, ask for your blessings. Father Lord, you know our needs, you know our problems, you know our expectations in Nigeria. We ask that you bless us. Grant us our desires which are pleasing to you. Protect our party leaders, protect the party members, protect our incoming president and vice president, protect all of us Nigerians. Give us the strength, Lord, the courage to endure for the next five months when we shall usher those who you have chosen to lead this nation. As we are here today to inaugurate the team that will take the charge for this year's service, we ask that you bless all of us. Give us the enablement spiritually, financially, politically to undertake this assignment you're giving to us. So that the fullness of time, by May 29, 2023, your name, your name is glorified. For you will have used us to ensure good leadership in the dream. As we finish here, Lord, today, Take us back to our respective homes. Full Christ our Lord. Amen. Your Excellency, the National Party, the Digital National Party of the fastest growing party in Africa. Shall we please, sir, uh, be all standing, ladies and gentlemen, to honor our fatherland with the National Party? Your right hand on your chest. 
Not a one I like.
we have Dr. Going, my elder brother, going on today. And uh, we have two other gentlemen that I really uh, don't have their names here with me, but at times when the national chairman is obeying, you will come to know them. Invited ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the national chairman of this great party and the national working committee, a member of the national executive council of the party, which constitutes the NWC state chairman and secretaries. I want to welcome you on this very important and historical occasion. We hope at the end of today, what we want to witness and what we are going to offer to Nigerians will usher in a new era and a new dawn of a very fruitful, sincere, credible administration that is going to be very, very beneficial for the entire country. So I welcome you, ladies and gentlemen, and members of the press. I would like to call on the national chairman also to give his keynote address and deliver the speech for the day. Thank you very much. Labour Party, Labour Party, Labour Party, Labour Party, is Ladies and gentlemen, I want to add my voice to the voice of the National Secretary to welcome you to today's event, which is the inauguration of our presidential campaign council. I want to use this opportunity to congratulate all of you who have been able to make this list. I want to say I'm an issue that arriving at this list was not an easy task. You will agree with me that the obedient movement is driven on integrity, on character, on credibility, and performance.
Therefore, for people that we drive such a campaign, must also have the same attributes. I therefore want to once more congratulate you for making this list. Uh, because we didn't arrive at this list by accident. We took our time to carefully examine the list. We did our background checks and we came to the conclusion that you are worthy enough to drive this process that will lead Nigeria to greatness. That's why I am congratulating you in advance because I know that you have the capacity to drive this process and lead our candidates and lead the party to victory COP 2023. Amen. I want to say clearly that our expectations are very, very high. Today, Labour Party is the beautiful bride. Our presidential candidate is the beautiful bride, no doubt, and indeed all other candidates of the party. Nigerians are expecting so much from us. Nigerians are expecting that we'll be able to lead them to victory come 2020. And that has entrusted on you and to us that huge responsibility to do what we need to do in order to see the party, the party to victory and its candidate next year. I must say that the task is not an easy one. Like the Bible we say, we are not fighting against flesh and blood, but against principality and powers of the earth. We are not fighting against common people, but we are fighting against parties that are already entrenched. Parties that have stolen our resources. Individuals that have stolen our common patrimony. And there is no doubt that they will deploy what they have stolen to continue to remain in power. I've said it before and I will reiterate that the ruling oligarchy in Nigeria have been using several means to continue to put us in captivity. One of what they have used over the years is ethnicity, religion, and tribal sentiments. The second factor they have been using is our resources they have stolen. They have always used it against our growth and development. And they have continued to use it to keep us, to set us back politically, economically, and otherwise. But I'm happy today that Nigerians have realized that they need to take back their country. I'm saying so because the huge following that we have enjoyed over the past few months and the huge following our presidential candidates and other candidates of the party enjoys and the massive support that we're enjoying as a party leaves convince me that Nigerians are indeed ready this time around to take back their country. They have indeed realized that the ruling the oligarchy have been stolen our resources and they have been using it against the people. They have also realized that the ruling the oligarchy has been using religion, ethnicity, and all what not to hold them down. And today, Nigerians are determined to jettison those affinities and then follow the right path and vote for competence, character, pedigree, yes. and capacity. Yes. 
Yeah. But I want to say this without any fear on my, without any tears on my cheek. That among the committee of presidential candidates, and indeed all other candidates of the party, our own stand out clearly. Yeah. Our presidential candidate is the best. With all the of the character as a role model, is number one among them. We talk about pedigree, is number one among them. We talk about intelligence, is number one among them. We talk about capacity, is number one among them. And therefore, we believe that Nigerians will follow the Labour Party and follow us this time. Of and I'm happy today that those of you here seated are the ones that will lead that campaign that will lead us to victory. I therefore want to congratulate you. But before I conclude, it is pertinent to also put on record that it is not over not until it is not over. There is so much work to be done. It is not enough to inaugurate campaign, presidential campaign council. We need to go back to our holy unit to work. We need to identify gatekeepers mm -hmm. in all our communities. We need to work hard. It's not easy to unearth what has been rooted over the years. <coughs> A lot of some people lobby to be in this council. And we are expecting that your expertise, your experience, will be deployed to delivering the candidates and deliver with the party. And therefore, we must all go back to our respective words and units because politics, they say, is local. The work is not in Abuja here. The work is not in the cities. Where we need to work hard in the villages, yes. in the interiors, in the rural areas. Yes. And that is a major task that is before us. I also want to make this comment before I finally conclude that the inaugurate the council. Presidential election is expensive. It's very costly. Our slogan is that we don't do shish. But this time around, we have to look for money. Talk and work. A presidential candidate cannot form a campaign alone. The presidential candidate doesn't have the money to form the campaign alone. The greatest challenge that we are likely to have, the greatest challenge we are likely to have in this campaign is with funding. Like I said earlier, our presidential candidate was the governor in those who's been the Anambra State. He's the only governor that is known not to, not to have a bezel money. That's true, that's true, that's true, that's true. He's the only governor that left. $75 billion dollars in the account of an hour He is the only government that is not on pension. All others are on pension. The point I'm making is that we cannot form 
presidential election alone. And therefore, all of us in this council have the responsibility to join hands with the, join hands with the party to see how we can raise funds for this campaign. We need a lot of funding to drive this process, no doubt about it. This is a food for thought, and I want you to reflect on it. I want you to think about it. Today is not a day to make long speeches. My job is simple, to inaugurate the campaign council and then the work against. I therefore once more, once again, to congratulate you for making this list. I want to congratulate you for this opportunity that uh, the society and God has put in your hands to deliver a country in Nigeria. I want to congratulate you for having this rare privilege to be among those that will be in the vanguard that will take back Nigeria and hand it to the people of Nigeria. Having said this, I now want to proceed to the main business of the day by I now want to proceed to the main business of the day. Uh, that is inaugurating of the presidential campaign council. I would therefore call on the VG of the campaign to call out the management team to just a few, the, manage, the chairman of the campaign council and the few management team and then we all stand up and take the vote of us. Thank you and God bless you. Once more, I'm done with you. Labour Party. I tell you, no shishism, God is our shishi. The tallest edifice created by nature in the whole world is the Kilimanjaro. And our fire, our lives, and our flag is there. Very close to God. We will definitely make it. We have the money. We have the money. Anybody who has character has what? Money. We'll get that. Don't be afraid, sir. I cannot overrule the chairman, the DG, who has impressed himself, impressed the whole world, pulled out his shoes. Stretch his eyes open as a sacrifice to God in heaven and thank God for this day. He's here to do it again. Dr. Doyo Okupe is our DG and has been saddled with the responsibility of calling out the other members of the management team. Thank you. I want you to recognize the fact that as we, as a director of the past, those who are seated here are those who will be within the SCT and the environment. As we are speaking, millions of our supporters and thousands of members of the campaign council are glued to their televisions and to their telephones and are, you know, and are with us.
via Zoom. So wherever you are and you are watching, we must take we are a new party that follows current trends. We must apply technology to improve services and facilitate our programs. <laughs> the country presently, thanks to the government of APC, is highly unsafe. Even this morning, members of my own family called me and said, don't attend that event because of what they're hearing about insecurity in Abuja and all that. This was why the national chairman and the members of the National Event Council and campaign organization met and decided that we will not put the lives of our people at risk. And he said that only those who are in FCT and environment will come here physically, while we will take an advantage of technology via Zoom and inaugurate at the same time concurrently those who are at the state headquarters as we speak. <laughs> I will also tell you that the president candidate and the vice president candidate are not here also on advice of our security team. I remember that apart from what I read on Facebook, on Facebook social media and personal contacts, I even sent a tape to the presidential candidates. One woman said, Obi, oh, take your time off. You go, you go enter vote, you know where that that is. <laughs> you don't know those in our destiny to be the you know. So because of such things, you know, we have an advice that the presidential candidate and his big vice president candidate should stay off this ceremony. They are at pains that they are not there. But we must give it and go according to the dictates of the staff. The most important thing is that this event should and will take place. I therefore read, as usual, with me, in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The chairman, the chairman of the campaign council, Retired IG. So, yeah, IG. Retired AIG. Mohammed Zarewa. Chairman, I was going to say that by the power and authority conferred on me, this book. Go and stand here. The secretary to the campaign council, the national campaign council, the present national. This organized only. The National Organizing Secretary. It's not disorganizing. Hungry, very nice to meet you. I'm also going to be so busy to be out and be so strong. Now I will read the members of the management team. Those who are here will please come out and stand. Those who are in their respective states should please also stand before their families or friends. <laughs> Director General doing your food break. Deputy Director. No, 
Aladdin Yusuf Bruno Maitama, Deputy Director General Staff, Mr. Denzel KTB. Denzel KTB is in town. So this morning. Deputy Campaign Manager One, Isaac Valami, is presently in uh, Nasarawa handling the preparations for the campaign tomorrow. Deputy Campaign Manager Two, Mrs. Elite Mitari. Zona Coordinators, South East Chief Damian Okeke of Ogene, South South Twins Favor Ruben, South West Mr. Balogo, Akin Oshitoku, it's not Mr. Balogo, it's Balogo, Akin Oshitoku, Coordinator North Central, Joseph Mutiran, Coordinator North East, Alad, uh, Mr. Alassan Mohamed Faru, Coordinator North West, Alad Audi A. Mohamed, Abia State Chief Umekazi SM, Adamawa State Officer Kabi Ulos Fili, Abaibon State Mr. Augustin Ian Koko, Anambra State Chief Joe Martin Kusodike, Bauchi Reverend Joshua Ray Minas, Bayelsa Mr. Maurice Alagoa, Benue Mr. Amiti Ijuo, Borono Mr. Gas Katia, Cross River Professor James Apoke is the coordinator. He is being assisted by Mr. Joseph Oshibu, co-coordinator. Delta, Mr. Amuche Oshioku, Eboi, Senator Ima Akuti, Edo State, Roland Izebua, Ekiti State, Ekiti State, Mr. Roland, sorry, Ekiti State, Mr. Falabi Akoni, Enugu State, Mr. Emeka Mama, Gombe State, Dana Dibako, Imo State, Kid Martin Abbasio, Gawa State, Abdi, Abdulaziz Yahaya, Abino State, Matthias Watia, Kano, Alaji Ibarra, Biwakiri, Hatsina, Omar Faru Kamel, Kebi, DCP, Imanuel, Danjima, Kogi State Engineer Ahab Akka, Kwara Dr. Rangwati Kogutani, Lagos Chief Koshunbare, and co coordinator Mr. John Kukulu, Nasarawa State Barrister Henry Aliba, Niger State, Niger State DIG Usman Gambo, Ogo State, there's an error here, but the correct name is. Honorable Edward Olaleye, Ondo State Professor Biodu Ambodi, Osho State Mr. Olusegun Babalono, Oyo State Mokaji Goinga Adejimo, coordinator, and co coordinator is from Wakiti Akwami, Rachel State Dr. Bako Nazin, and co coordinator is Pastor Chuan Tam. River State, Sir Honorable Adam Chiku Kukuru, Sokoto State, Honorable Abraman Iman Shinto, Coordinator, Mr. Christian Isidago, Araba State, Bishop David Uro, Yubi State, Engineer Hassan Daba, Zamfara State, Adachi, Isha, Anka. Please, all ladies who place are on the campaign council should be outside. If you are if your name is on the campaign council and you're a lady and you are here, please stand and join them. 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 Join them.
Lord to meet you. Get to our group. And you go. Just there. And you got to put your picture in here. I'll tell you next year. And I'll tell you about it. 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 I know you say what I was going to do. When you were going to do it, I know you say what I was going to do. I say, 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 The leadership of the Labour Party is very responsible and responsive because the outcry that the other people need to be not related to, yes. the responsive chairman has this to say. Chairman, inaugurate others. My thinking was that having done the inauguration here, it covers everything. No, 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 no. But if you feel strongly yes. that you want to take your oath of office yes. differently, yes. then we can get the legal advisor to do that. Yes. So those who want us to do it for them separately, say aye. Ah. And those who think otherwise, say nay. Continue to make use of as many people as are willing 
to be of help to this party, to this movement, and to this campaign organization. As the National Chairman said, each one of you must become an ambassador of this campaign organization with your various positions. And besides our dear RT KVT, the Senatorial Candidate in Lexington, every other person and her team, and her team, every other person should go home. All politics are local. All. You will not serve any purpose if you are a Jehu man and you are sitting down in this Abuja till February. You will not serve any useful purpose. And you will have just wasted that seat on the campaign council. That seat on the campaign council gives you authority to go to your local and say, I'm a member of the campaign council. I have come here talk to you, I've come here to mobilize you, I've come here to speak with you about Labour Party, about Peter Obi, about Muslim America. Uh, uh, Please, that is our duty. It is not just glorifying to say I'm a member of the campaign council and you eat in some club and you flat in your room, you feel that it is that nobody will go for us in some club. We want you to go back to the room. I can tell you officially here, yeah, today, today, I can tell you officially that in all the most important parties in Nigeria, except for one or two zones, and I will say, except for the northwest and the northeast, Peter Kobe is yes, the leading candidate Woo! in four zones. In four zones. I got to report while I was here. I got to report while I was here. I will not give you full details. And it's an independent report. That report confirms to us that we are the only one who has self penetration in every zone apart from North East America. And that we are the second in everywhere that we are not forced. That demands clapping. As we step forward, we are today. I got I got that report here. We are number two. We are we are not number one. And we are number one in virtually all the zones. So please, God, there's a God, there's a God, but there are two words. The first part, I'm saying this so that. We are on the same page. The first part is that apart from the South South and South East, our penetration in the rural communities still needs to be boosted up. The report is here. It costs money, it's expensive, and it's confidential. But I'm sharing with you. We, you know, we still, you know, we, we still need to boost our penetration in the rural communities. So that is your job, that is your business. I'm Mr. Chairman, sir. We are going to rely on you. We are going to rely on your capacity, capability, influence, goodwill, and everything that God has given you, and your team and the vice president, to break the chains in the Northwest. And we have time to do and I can assure you that by the grace of God, we will do it. You see me this and this morning, you are on the dark side of this game. We all are on the dark side. Amen. Nobody is on the dark side that loses. It's not possible. Okay? It's not going to happen. Whatever we are short of, whatever we are lacking, between now and February, God is going to see you. I want to congratulate you in advance that sometime next year, in February, I will be standing and not be talking, we shall all be dancing.
recite the second stanza of our national anthem as our close of prayer, and the indefatigable national youth leader acting will now take us to that. And please, the weeping, second stanza of uh, our national anthem. One to go, O oh God of creation, direct our noble cause, guide our leaders' right. Help our youth that group to know, in love and honesty to grow, to build a nation where peace and justice shall reign. Thank you. Labour Party! Thank you, Safe Journey as well. Emma? Emma? How is it? No, please. Please, Jessitek, Jessitek, there is a little light refreshment for you. Just Jessitek where you are, it will come to you, please. Don't be seated where you are. Please, don't be seated. Don't be seated, please. Don't be seated. Let's remain seated, please. Should I, should I go up?